San Antonio, Burgundy Woods here with your Style Lush TV, your online fashion network. And I am here with a big time, big time fashion amazingness person. I'm just saying, Ken Downing, ladies and gentlemen, of Neiman Marcus. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How are you? You are very kind to say those nice things. Th this man has an amazing career. He's got an amazing job, fabulous life. I mean, he's very Style Lush, and I am just so grateful that you took some time to talk with us. I'm thrilled to be chatting with you, and, and thank you. I, I love my life, but like you, we, we actually all work in this industry. As glamorous as all really seems what we do, it's a job at the end of the day now. It so is. So many people see what we do when we're filming and we're around town, but really it's post-production is the real work, and I'm sure for you too, they see the glamorous part of it, but then when you gotta go and do all the work, it's it's kinda like, that's the real deal. Three days, pulling a show, fitting models, working on hair and makeup schematics, doing rehearsals. I mean, it, the end product looks like it's effortless, but it takes a lot that goes into it. It, it absolutely does, and that transcends in any fashion industry, I think. So, Ken, I just kinda wanna pick your brain about how you got started in the fashion industry. You know, it's interesting. My, my mother tells a story that she was talking on the phone, I'm sure it was a rotary at the time, with one of her girlfriends lamenting that she had to go to two a um, evening gala and didn't know what to wear and I, I overheard her on the phone so I went into her closet and I laid out an evening dress, a pair of shoes, even hosiery, earrings, jewelry and a handbag and when she got off the phone it was all laying there on her bed and she ended up wearing everything that I laid out for her and decided that at six years old I probably had somewhat of a career opportunity in fashion. <laughs> wow. So I, I've, I've always loved clothes. You know, I don't really remember the toys I had when I was a little kid, but I remember how people looked. I remember how their, their homes were decorated. I remember going to weddings and the pageantry really kind of, you know, really taking me in and seducing me. And so I, I've always had an eye for, for beauty and, and the idea of really what makes somebody look superlative and amazing so I, I kind of just took it from there I just always knew I would be in this industry in fact my mother brought me to meet John von Furstenberg when I was very young when she was launching her wrap dresses in Seattle iconic iconic and 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 I was a little scared to meet them because I was a, a young boy and she was such a you know fierce and exotic woman and she said, oh, darling, darling, what can I do for you? And I said, oh, I want to work in fact. Oh, darling, you will, you will, you will. And, and I do. And now Diane's a friend of mine, and, and I love her dearly. But I've always had really supportive people around me and, and really kind of, you know, saying that there's nothing you can't do. And I find now I'm that person in the industry when I'm working with young designers or, or models or people who want to be stylists. We really have to support one another. We have to let people know that the velvet rope that was once fashion doesn't really exist anymore. Can anymore. you remember the days when the fashion, the idea of a fashion career wasn't as glamorous or out there? I remember being young and just knowing I loved fashion, but I don't remember it being so such a trendy, sought-after kind of thing. No, you're absolutely right. You know, I talk about it often because I even remember when I was in junior high and, and going into high school, and I knew then I wanted to work in fashion. And you had to be a, a really bold, individual to say out loud I'm going to work in fashion it was not a popular comment especially you know, coming from Seattle growing up in the <laughs> suburbs I'm sure I was called a lot of names and not very nice ones because I, I was so knowing early what I wanted for a career but I do think that you know shows like Project Runway I think that bloggers I think that what the internet has done for fashion it has opened the fashion conversation up to such a larger audience that people realize it is a really cool industry. There's room for more people, and it's no longer this insular, small industry. It is a massive international industry. As much time as I spend in the United States, I spend around the globe promoting Neiman Marcus in countries all over the world. But I love that today you can be in grade school or junior high school or in high school and say, I want to work in fashion, and people don't get cross-eyed. Their, their parents don't get scared. What am I going to do? My child wants to work in fashion. It's, it's really looked upon as an important industry anymore, and I think that's really a good thing. Can you remember the time when the seasons weren't as many seasons as it is now? <laughs> I do, actually. Well, and, and I, I remember when it was really all about fall and was about spring, yeah. which, you know, certainly pre-collections have become so important. Resort. Uh, re resort, and, you know, you have pre-fall. But with 
what's nutty about it is that Mother Nature has kind of really dealt fashion this crazy hand because when resort and spring clothes are showing up, it's still winter. When winter fall clothes show up, it's just getting nice and, and warm but we, we really try to make sure because our, our buyers are so sensitive as I am to where we have stores not only around the country but even all of our international customers looking for clothes that make sense for the here and now because the idea of buying clothes very far out in the season and waiting to wear them is less and less the reality of how a woman dresses. She, she really wants clothes that she can enjoy in this very moment. She wants them to be relevant to the time and the place. She wants to look good right then and she's want to wait to wear them so I'm, I'm always I'm very much about transitional transitional color transitional fabric weight I hear it everywhere I go from Australia to you know Shanghai women want everything the same so I, I really try to make sure I'm looking for that when I'm in the market if you could give one fashion career advice for everyone out there who's looking to get into the fashion industry what would be that tip you know that my, my advice is work hard harder and then even more because there is this collective sense that many times people don't want to put in the time and they don't want to learn. And, and even what I've achieved in my career, I learn something new every day. If I'm not learning something new every day, I feel that it's been a real loss of a day. And there's nothing that I really haven't done in the industry. I've modeled, I've styled, I've done hair, I've done makeup, I know how to sew, I know how to draft patterns, I've sold clothes, I've, I've done window displays, I've worked in public relations. And when you know the industry inside and out, it just makes you so much smarter and it gives you a better sense of what makes our industry tick. So never say no, never say that's not my job. And when you're done doing a job for someone, say, okay, I'm done, and what more can I do for you now? And to me, it's really all about hard work because hard work truly does pay off. It really, really does. I like to say, if you want the princess, you better get ready to slay that dragon. It is so <laughs> true. It is so true because wearing the crown is fun, but that's something that only happens a short period of the time. Right, right. <laughs> well, thank you, Ken, so much for taking time out with Style Lush so TV. With Listen, I love the idea of Lush TV. I think everything in life should be Lush. So <laughs> all about a lush life, yes, right? We are style lushes at Style Lush TV. So thank you again so much. Oh, mwah. all right, guys. Yes, we're here for the show. So stay tuned for highlights on that. And remember, don't complain, come fancy. <laughs> I we'll love see you that. next time. <laughs>